Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here tonight with another new video. And what I'm going to do tonight is we're going to discuss the live PDC TV. And pretty much we're just going to cover a few quick topics and you guys can decide whether it's a good investment for you or not and whether or not it's worth buying. So let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, getting right into it, I want to let you know why I decided to personally purchase the live PDC TV again. I have had it in the past, but I let my subscription lapse. I just didn't really feel it was worth it. But recently the PDC offered up something new. So I figured I had to check it out. And before I tell you what was new and what they were doing new, I'll just go over to the how much does it friggin' cost page. So the annual pass is 50 pounds and that works out to be about $65 US. What I did is went with the monthly pass five pounds so that's about six dollars and 48 cents is what it cost me so for that six dollars and 48 cents we'll go back to the schedule page what the pdc started doing new was they started streaming the players championship tournaments now basically what that is is the pdc floor events so the guys aren't up on stage they're just in some random hall shooting on you know, random dartboards. So it's not really a big production event, but it was awesome. The best part about it was, for me personally, was that I got to see a ton of different players play. Now, you know how we, there's discussion all the time how we're all sick of seeing like the same eight to 10 players and it kind of gets boring a little bit. I mean, it's still pretty exciting to see Van Gerwen play, in my opinion, just what he's doing is nuts. But that's besides the point. It's really nice to see like, you know, the top 64 players duke it out, a lot of new faces. And for me, that was like super exciting to watch. So basically for that $6.48, I got a full three days of dart action, September 20th, Players Championship 14. Two days ago was the Players Championship 15. And yesterday was Player Championship 16. So for me, that was definitely worth the investment. You know, for $6, I got three full days of darts. Now, let me discuss the bad parts. Now, I was able to sit on my ass at home in front of my computer on my desktop and watch darts. And it's great if you can watch it live. Now, if you're working or you have something else you have to do and you think you can come home and click on PDC and do the catch-up thing, well, no, that's where it sucks because they don't archive anything. So once it's streamed live and they, sh they turn the stream off, well, that's it. You're shit out of luck because you're not going to be able to rewatch it. So that's kind of like a big downfall for me. And that was one of the main reasons why I unsubscribed in the first place because they don't have archives. So the minute they stream it, that's it. It's gone. So if you can't watch it live, you're shit out of luck. And another negative I think that I'll talk about is I think the streaming is flashed based. So I'm not 100% sure on this, but I don't think it's available on mobile devices. So that's kind of a downfall. I mean, it is 2016. A lot of people watch YouTube videos or streaming events on their phone. So I don't think uh, I don't think they're doing that on this. I don't think you can with a flash base. Now, correct me in the comments section if I'm wrong here. Can, I mean, can you guys watch on your mobile device or not? I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm sitting home on my ass watching on my computer. So yeah, in the comments section, let me know if this is available on mobile devices, because like I said, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, going back to the home page, there are a lot of uh, upcoming events. Actually, I'll go to the schedule page. I mean, for you, if you look at the rest of September, you know, the Unibet Championship League of Darts, that's going to be new on the BBC. So that's going to be a full two or three days action there. Two days, it looks like. But yeah, the, there's a full schedule here, so you know what's upcoming. So there is a ton to watch. And I think for, you know, for six dollars, six and a half dollars per month, personally, for me, it's worth it because you don't have to depend on some bootleg stream that may or may not come in good, you know, or you could get a virus if you don't have an ad blocker. So you never know. For me, it's like a peace of mind. I know I can come to PDC, click on and watch. It's going to be there. But again, only if I can watch it live. Now for me right now, live PDC TV, it works for me because I'm able to sit at home and watch it on my desktop. So for me right now, $6 or $6.5 a month is a great deal. But I'm going to give a little advice here, and I guess it's for the PDC, <laughs> even though they're not going to listen. I could guarantee you they're not going to listen. What they're doing completely wrong is they're not utilizing YouTube. Now what they could do, the Professional Darts Corporation, they could start uploading every single match to their channel. Now if you look here, they've been doing, they've had a channel since uh, 2011, late 2011. In that time, they've got 36,000 subscribers. So that's 
fairly decent. And they've got 11.7 million total views. And you know what? That's terrible. That's just not good at all. Now what they could do, imagine this for a second. If they started uploading every single match to YouTube, pretty much, first of all, it's going to remove, it's going to take Theo out of the picture, uh, Darts Planet, That's going to, they're going to be out of the picture. So pretty much they're going to corner the market. Now within a year's time, this 36 thousand subscribers I don't see any reason why that couldn't double and these views that they get I would probably honestly predict that the PDC could probably rake in well over a million views per month now that's when you start talking some serious cash you know that's enough income to start making a difference because to be honest guys I don't think the live PDC TV is bringing in a lot of money how many people are subscribing can't be a lot of people paying six dollars a month honestly how many people could be really paying that much money so if they start utilizing YouTube you know their monthly paychecks are gonna be ten thousand dollars I mean they can make a serious amount of money you know enough money to make a difference in the future now it's not gonna grow overnight but I'm looking like a year or two down the road you know they could have a hundred thousand subscribers they could have a hundred million total views easily they just have to start cornering the market eliminate all these other little channels that upload dart videos screw them and screw me too I mean you know in the past I've uploaded full matches but again you know that you know you're dealing with copyright issues and it's only a matter of time before Theo and darts planet and all the other channels start getting copyright strikes so they're going to be gone, but I don't know why the PDC doesn't utilize YouTube because they could be really making a serious amount of money. You know, in my estimation, they could be making upwards of $10,000 a month. And I could guarantee you that the live PDC TV isn't making that much. But anyway, that's just kind of my suggestion. I think the PDC should upload all the matches to their channel and sit back and rake in the views and rake in the money. But anyway, guys, uh, let me know. Yeah, let me know about the mobile device on in the comments section. I don't know if you can watch the live PDC TV on that or not. But like I said... For me right now, Live PDC is okay. There are other places to watch, as we all know. I mean, there's bootleg streams we can watch, and they're not always 100% dependable. And of course, there's always YouTube to uh, watch the videos just minutes after they're over. But anyway, I hope that helped you guys decide whether or not the Live PDC TV is a good thing or not, and if you'd want to buy it. But anyway, if the PDC is listening, utilize this YouTube. You guys could be making a shit ton of money. Anyway, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.